Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to DIY your own dog collar. Creating your own dog collar is a lot easier than you'd think and gives you more flexibility for fun designs versus the limited store-bought options. I also made a matching leash, so stay tuned for that video next. The leash is much easier than the collar, so if you can tackle this, the leash should be no problem for you. For this DIY, you'll need some nylon webbing strap, a buckle, a tri-glide and D-ring, and cotton fabric of your choice. For my dog, I'm using one inch strap and hardware. First, cut the nylon webbing strap to length. I cut mine about double the length of my dog's collar, which ended up being around 33 inches long. Use a lighter to burn each end so the edges don't fray. Next, cut your fabric about three and three quarters of an inch wide and long enough to cover the length of the strap. On one end of the fabric, press an inch fold. I sewed a basting stitch as a guide two inches from this pressed hem. Flip the fabric over and press along the basting stitch towards the fold, removing this stitch after you iron. You can omit the basting stitch and just use the iron to press these guides if you prefer. Next up, we're going to sew the fabric onto the strap. First, tuck the nylon strap neatly under the one inch fold. Then fold the other side of the fabric up so the entire strap is covered. If done correctly, the folded over pressed edge will get close to the end of the strap but will not overlap. I used binder clips instead of pins to hold my strap together and sewed around the entire piece making sure to fold over and tuck in the edges at the two ends. Essentially sewing a very thin and long rectangle using the presser foot as my guide to keep my seams close to the edge. Once you have the nylon strap covered in fabric, it's time to assemble the collar. First up is the tri-glide and pronged side of the buckle. I place my tri-glide around the middle of my collar and this is gonna help us make the collar adjustable. Make sure to go under and over and pull your strap through, making sure the top part is the right side of the fabric. Next, you're going to pull the strap over and under the pronged side of your buckle. Loosen the part of the strap that was pulled through the tri-glide clip. We're going to pull the strap under and over, but underneath the first strap, doubling this part up. Next, sew the end of the strap to the inside part of the loop, securing this in place. Whenever I sewed the straps together, I made sure to sew a rectangle with an X through it and went over this a couple of times to create a more secure stitch. For added security, you can use heavy-duty thread and create more than one seam as well. Next up is the D-ring and the other side of the buckle. First slide the D-ring through the other end of the strap, then pull the strap through the buckle. I pulled through until I had about 3.5 to 4 inches of excess strap on the back. You need a bit of excess strap because you'll need to secure the D-ring in place by sewing on either side of where you want this ring to sit. Like the other end, I secured this with a rectangular stitch that crossed through the center. Adjust the collar to fit your pup and you're finished. This may seem a bit complicated at first, but it was pretty easy to assemble and is a fun way to switch up your dog's accessories. If you'd like to see more DIYs and tutorials like this, please make sure to subscribe to K9 and mine below. And thanks again so much for watching. Mommy. Mommy. Hi. <laughs>